the Rex Corner, the man, the myth, the legend. Hi, welcome to Rick's Tip of the Week. Every once in a while in the past I used to do a Tip of the Week and I dropped off for a while, but I think I'm going to start doing it again because there's a lot of training tips out there that people don't know and I like to make them short and sweet and then that will help your workouts. Um, as some of you know, Vince Gironda, and I did a piece on him, was a very, very good trainer of champions and movie stars and had a gym in Studio City on Ventura Boulevard, had all the stars from Universal Studios and also all the stars from bodybuilding. This man knew how to train people. That was his specialty and he was one of the few around that got great results. He didn't believe in squats, he didn't believe in bench presses, he believed in other exercises that actually really worked and also he believed in Blair's protein, which is a good protein back in the time. Daryl Conant wrote a book about Vince and it's a 200 and something pages of all his exercises that he did that nobody else really knew about except those that trained with him. And I'm going to show you a little bit about chaining the chest right now. Daryl demonstrates on Smith Machine the exercise and how to use your arms and how to use it to your advantage. So I'm going to do that right now and take a look at it. If you want to order his book, it's at the end of the video. It's a really good book. I'm not selling you something that I don't believe in. I'm not making any money off this. I just believe in what it is. And uh, for a lot of you younger guys who don't know who Vince was, Vince Geronda, look him up. He's got a long history. He was an icon of bodybuilding, one of the best. Okay, watch this now. Hi guys, my name is Daryl Conant. I am the author of Convinced. And today I want to demonstrate one of the exercises from within, within the book, and it's called the neck press. It's one of the first exercises that I learned from Vince, and it's one of the 235 exercises illustrated in my book. I'd like to demonstrate this exercise. But before I do, I just want to talk about it first. From what I know is that Vince was adamant about never doing barbell chest pressing in his gym. Matter of fact, if you did barbell chest pressing, it was a good reason for him to kick you out of his gym. He believed that the regular Olympic barbell chest press was a useless exercise for building the, the, the pectoralis major. And the reason for that is because when you take the bar, and a lot of guys would end up <coughs> hitting the, the, the middle or the low part of the sternum, and that drops the elbows down, and it makes it more uh, <coughs> directed onto the anterior deltoid. So he believed that the regular chest press is about 90% deltoid work. So he came up with the idea of the neck press. Now, in order to get the full recruitment of the muscle fibers of the pectoralis major, you have to get the elbows up. The elbow has to be up and kind of flared out because that's where the, the insertion of the pectoralis major is. It's right in the, the humerus and it comes over to the clavicle, goes down the sternum and then attaches to the ribs. So it's like this triangle. And in order to get the right angle, you have to get your elbows up because you want the pination of the fibers kind of going from the humerus to the sternum in this kind of a angle. And so the only way you can get into this position, you have to get the elbows back. And so you want to get the pre-stretch on the pectoralis major so that when you drive your elbows <coughs> forward, that the elbow is going to come toward the sternum in the same pattern that the muscle on the insertion of the pectoralis major is going to come toward the sternum. And so that's how you actually work the pectoralis major. So it's very similar to doing like the, the dip or the decline uh, fly. So it's this idea that you have to kind of get into this sort of flared elbow position and then drive the, the hand down so that you can get those fibers to fire off. I like to use a Smith machine when I do the neck press because the regular barbell um, if you don't have a spotter, it can be a little bit more challenging. But the nice thing about the Smith machine is, one, I can do it without a spotter, and two, it just really keeps me in that, that fixed position. And there is a word of caution. When you do this particular exercise, if you have any shoulder problems or this is just something that doesn't work for you, then I just say, don't do it. But I've been doing it over probably 32 years, and it's one of my favorite exercises, and it's really uh, helped develop my chest. So. Um, this is how we do it. So I get down and I always bring my feet up off the, off the bench. Again, it's, that's my own preference, but you can keep it on the floor or whatever, but I have to keep it on the bench so I keep my back nice and tight. 
the, to the bench, so I'm not going to use my legs to do the exercise. And now what you do is, on the bar, you actually want to use the bone support of your hand. You don't want to grip it. You don't want to death grip it like, a, like an Olympic bar. You don't want to do all this kind of uh, flexion on the wrist or anything. So you're just going to turn the hand, and as I turn, the elbow flares out. So now I've got, I pull myself into that position, so now I'm getting the pre-stretch onto the pectoralis major, and then I come off, and I come right down, and you bring it right down underneath your neck. So you get that stretch right here, and you can really feel it, a phenomenal stretch onto the pectorals. And then I push up, and you want to keep the elbows back. Don't drop them forward at all. Then you come back down, you inhale, and then you exhale, and you contract as hard as you can, then you come back down, and then you exhale, and then you don't fully lock out. You keep the elbows just slightly bent. Then you come back down, inhale, and then you exhale, you got no more left in there, and you can just pump out a few little extra burns here at the end just to reinforce more stimulation, and then you can lock out. And so that's the neck press. And again, it's a little bit more challenging than just doing a regular barbell chest press because you really can't cheat when you're in this type of position to, to use your triceps and, and your deltoids. So this is really more isolated onto the pectoralis major. And again, it's one of those exercises that takes a little bit of time, so always start light and work your way up. This is one that I always use. It's one of my staples to the programs that I've learned from Vince, and it's just a great exercise. And that is it. That's the neck press. So take care, guys. Now back to you, Rick. Rick's Corner. There's training tips, over 235 exercises, testing of Vince's methods, the story of Vince's gym equipment, and his personalized training program that he received himself, and a whole lot more. I mean, this book is just chock full of information like you can't believe. So I told him I'd mention it on my show because I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in Vince Gironda. I knew him. I worked out at his gym. He closed it down many years ago and came to Gold's and worked out there for a while until he passed away. But he was just a dictionary of methods of training and knowing how to train and get results. He really knew what he was doing. So if you want to get this book, it's available on the internet. You can email Daryl and he'll send it out to you with the price and all that and I'll put that up on my page right now so you can see it. I think it's well worth the money. It's a nice book and um, I just believe that Vince knew what he was doing. It took me a long time to read through these. I mean these are really thick books but they're definitely worth their money and I really really like it. So if you don't know who Vince Gironda is, look him up. He's an icon, a legend in bodybuilding. He trained the finest of people. He was on the equivalent of Joe Gold as far as a gym owner but Joe wasn't really a trainer. Vince was. And Vince sculpted bodies. He really believed in sculpting a body with a small waist, the wide shoulders, the abs, the sweep of the thighs. Um, he got results from people who listened to them. And like I said, if they didn't listen, he kicked out of the gym. Anyway, check out the book. Uh, I'm posting up what it's about right now. And uh, I want to see if you like it. There's a coupon code on there. It might save you some money. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.